what's going on y'all what's good what's good welcome back to the crow room um we're gonna be doing a little series moving forward called fomo or fud what we're gonna be doing on fomo or fud is we're gonna talk briefly real quick about up and coming nft projects on the chronos blockchain or you know just nfts minting already uh today today man we're gonna talk about the marble verse nft on ebitches bay man what, what you think about that man i i, I seen it i hit you on it and i was like man what it because it, 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 it attracted my eye the artwork was cool you know what i mean i noticed some little cool marbles and you know it's just childhood things did you get a chance to take a look at the website how, what, how do you feel about the website so look I, so that was the first thing that was like my first impression when i just jumped in the website you know what i mean i when i jumped in the website it looked the professional it looked the cool it was all right yeah definitely i thought the website was very nice very well put together um if i was like somebody new stumbled upon, stumbled across this website i would you know right away get the feeling of it was built by real experienced uh developers you know what i'm saying like people that really know how to build uh websites it's a, a nft drop it dropped on a april 16th on ibisi bay you know it was uh started out at 80 crow but went up to it, it's going to go up to 170 crow each batch of 2,000, oh. you know what I mean? It'll go up, what, 10, 10 crow or 20 crow per 2,000 minted. All right. Well, you know, it's minting on his bitches, bay. Like, what did you think about that? What's your first impression just seeing an NFT drop on a bitches, bay? Shit, every time I see something drop on any bitches, bay, that's some, that's that's a cue that it, it it's legit. You know what I mean? I don't think they, they're, they're, they're not. They're not, not. Not, not all the time, though. Yeah, but they refunded some people. You know what right, I mean? Like right. they're 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 doing their due diligence. I don't think they'll let that happen again because it is DeFi. But right. you know they do a good due diligence to let you. It's a little trustworthy over there. Yeah, I gotta agree, man. Uh, Ibishu Bay is one of my most trusted marketplaces for Chronos NFTs because you know they're they're really well known. One of the first to do it. They evaluate uh, projects coming in on their platform and they denied a lot of projects, bro. Yeah, so it's like okay, with the utility, man. You know, we always check the utility. You know, it's a marble verse. Why not a metaverse? They call themselves the marble verse, but I don't really see it being a metaverse, and that that might confuse a lot of people here. See, because when I'm first reading this website, first thing I was thinking about was it's gonna be a metaverse game, but I don't really believe I don't really feel that it is a metaverse game because I they're just using the word marble verse because you know the game the utility for the game, bro. It's just marbles loosely rolling down a ramp, racing to see who wins. And if you win, you win the the in-game currency, Rolium. Because when I'm thinking metaverse, I'm thinking a world where you could immerse yourself in, walk around and meet people and do this and that. So it's a play to earn game. You, you know, buy your NFTs, you buy your marbles, and then you race them against other people um, on their ramps that they built in their game that they built to earn Rolium. So yeah, you, you know they 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 had a token. They dropped their tokenomics on March twenty second. Mm -hmm. You know they had a uh, they had a hundred a hundred million release. You know what I mean? Fifty percent fifty percent went to the play to earn game. You know they released that over five years. Nine percent went to liquidity pools. You know what I mean? Twelve percent went to them damn to the devs. Another twelve percent went to the ICO. And then that was that was partnered with Crowdex. Then uh, ninety percent of that whole twelve percent is going to be used for their LPs. 7% went to market with collabs and 3% with marketing. So you can almost put those together and give it a 10% for marketing collabs because those are partnerships. There was a private sale. There was a private sale of 6%, which will be released over six months. I'm not too sure what a, what the private sale was or how it works, but there was a private sale of 6%. What about the developers? Uh How many developers are on the team? I saw quite a few of them, right? Was it first... Was it easy to find a developer? As soon as I, <laughs> soon as I popped up the white paper and you know their website, they had their developers on it. Mm -hmm. They have a team of eight, but the only thing is they're all avatar. Mm -hmm. they, they're not docking their self. Right. So I mean that's very common in the in this space. But for me though, like whenever I look at these NFTs and I I see that they don't really want to show who they are. It just it scares me a little bit. That goes with every other NFTs popping up here because nobody wants to show themselves just in case they have to get up and walk away with your money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying the will. What I'm saying is there is a possibility that that's very, very possible. And anybody, any new person walking into this NFT world should be coming in thinking this, thinking that at any moment, at any time, any project could get up and walk away with your money. You can't do squat about it. So these little things like this, 
is definitely on my mind when I'm looking when I'm seeing that all the dev developers are you know undocumented where don't know who they are, no pictures of them at all. Do we have commercial rights after we buy this NFT? Do we? Um, can we use these marbles as our own logos? Can we, you know what I'm saying, use it in other ways than just having a picture in our wallet? See, one thing I noticed about when, when you're dealing with like Metaverse, the NFTs portion probably doesn't really matter that much because you want to base everything off in-game attributes anyways. Mm -hmm. So you trying to figure, you you wouldn't use a Metaverse game as your commercial rights anyways because they that utility comes with a whole different avenue okay. of gaming. Okay. You can't own the game, so okay. So what about this? What if I bought fifteen thousand marbles, right? Yeah. For example, I bought fifteen thousand marbles, and now I want to be able to sell these marbles on social media to my friends. I wanted to use that marble NFT as my logo. Am I able to do this? That's that's my question here, I guess. Because a lot of these uh, other NFTs, they do put in the roadmap that. You have commercial rights. You could use it as you please. You just can't use our name, Marble Verse. You feel me? So this is my question: Is this in the roadmap? Is this in the website anywhere? I don't see anything about commercial okay, rights. So. But what I do see is this will not be the the only twenty thousand marbles. Mm. They're they're creating as they go. So, so twenty thousand is already a lot to me. And when I'm just thinking about <laughs> how many marbles do you really need to race in this game, because Number one, you can't control the game at all. You, it's, it's, it's randomly, you, you drop it, and then the marble rolls down these ramps, and whoever luckily gets ahead at the end of the day, you win you know, the race, and you earn the Rolium. So you're unable to control it, and the only thing I read about the marble is that the more rare the marble is, the more um, energy it have to race more races. So you could drop into other races sooner. That's the only thing I read about um, the gameplay of these marbles. So my question is, 20,000 marbles, how many do you really need to race and earn? Hopefully they're doing that based off the fact that their own value. So they they might have something planned that we don't know. So maybe they need that many. So we, you know what I mean, mm. it's just based off gameplay. It could be, it could be something down the road. Then. Some, yeah, it, it could be some epic down the road to where they need twenty thousand. But you marbles. just mentioned they're dropping more marbles than the twenty thousand. Yeah. So because more marbles are going to be minted, is, is that a goal for you? Is that something that you're going to be worried about? Uh, if we, if if this if this episode was based off FOMO or FUD, this would be FUD because I I don't like the fact that there's going to be more. Mm. I want to feel that mine is unique. Okay. You know, it's just as part of the investment. You know right. what I mean? I want to feel like my investment is mine. Mm -hmm. You know, and then on top of that, they they're also doing the random reveals. When you mint it, they don't reveal you what marble you have until the mint is over, or they they're not they're they're it's not going to be when it's over. It's more of they're doing it randomly. Hmm. So, okay. So I guess just to wrap things up real quick, is this something that you're going to be looking into? Um, is this FOMO or FUD? So for my FOMO or FUD, I should uh, I would say for my FOMO, the best thing is about their artwork and their um, their play to earn. A lot of things where I could say it might it might have FUD or whatnot. It would be you know the decks is collecting twelve percent. The NFTs they're not they're they're it could be possibly unlimited. The not revealing the uh, the marble immediately that's kind of scares me. And then also. The fact that if you buy 10, you're promised a legendary. So what I love about this project is very professional, right? The The way they carry themselves is very professional. You could tell that the team is doing a really, really great job. And not just that, they're working with Ibishi's Bay. Also, I love the play to earn, right? I love to when you could race and you could win and you could earn. The artwork, I mean, it's a marble, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see anything special, special with it. But my FUD about this project is... I don't know who the devs are, the developers. I don't know who they are. They are undoxed. There's no control in the racing in the end game race. It's basically random. So you just drop your marble and let them run. And hopefully you win. You have no tell if yours is going to be the faster one of anybody else. You have no control of that. You have no control of the race. And that being said, that about wraps it up for the marble verse. Um, anything we say and do on this channel is not financial advice. So... Please take this information and make your own decisions at will. Um, moving forward, we will be doing a lot of more videos like this on up and coming projects. Uh, drop in the comments, man, what you guys want to see next. All right. So uh, with that being said, man, we're going to catch you guys on the next Crow Room episode. Let's crawl. <laughs>